everyone, Suzanne the Rager here. Welcome to my playthrough of Tomb Raider 2, the level Offshore Rig. I'm so excited to play this level. Again, my apologies that I haven't had a video out in almost two weeks now, I think. My laptop actually stopped working. The keyboard was completely messed up. Didn't manage to fix the laptop, but I did buy a new keyboard that plugs into the laptop, so I should be able to play using that. I've no idea how loud this keyboard is going to be. I'm going to record two different types of audio, so hopefully there won't be really loud clicking in the background, but if there is, I apologize. I just, I have to use this giant um, clunky <laughs> keyboard because the one on the laptop is now broken. Another super fun thing that happened was when um, we were trying to fix the laptop, everything on the laptop got wiped, including my Tomb Raider 2 game. So then we had the fun time of trying to reinstall the game with all of the graphic packs and everything. But then unfortunately the game I was playing got deleted. Now I did manage to install a save file from Stella's Tomb Raider site. So as usual, as always, thank you Stella. You save my life every time. You're my best friend and you don't even know it. But that does mean that I now have Stella's much better Tomb Raider game installed, which means that I no longer have no flares and I probably have more medipacks and more ammo than I did as well. So just in case you're wondering where did all those flares and medipacks and stuff come from, it's it's a save file that I, I installed from Stella. So that's all been super fun and stressful. I do have an announcement. I think I'll make it at the end of the video just about my um, video and upload schedule for over Christmas. That has now changed because I lost so much time with a broken laptop so stay tuned at the end of the video if you just want to know a bit about my upload schedule over Christmas and New Year's and stuff like that but I've been moaning for long enough now so let's just get straight into it. I just wanted to wait until the music finished. I love the music in this section. So, uh, we just saw the plane landing there, obviously. We are now in the offshore rig and we are trapped in this cell with no guns and we need to escape. So let's get on that. Uh, I was worried this keyboard would be, oh no, I moved this locked the wrong way. I was worried this keyboard would be really difficult to use, but it's actually totally fine. Good. Okay, it's just gonna take me a little while to get used to it. But but it's okay. I know there is a way to actually just jump over all of these blocks without moving them and make your way out the door, but I I am not feeling that confident today to, to try it, so I don't think so. Actually, I'm just going to turn down the sound for me because the background sound is very loud. And when that alarm starts going off, I think it's going to deafen me. So, in preparation of that. Okay, and I'm just going to save it before I do this. Because I don't want to pull those blocks again. 
pull the switch. this with the least backtracking possible. So, I think this way. And I'm just looking at this now. There are some gaps you can probably see there if you look up in between textures um, that weren't there the previous time. But, I actually think that the, oh I'm stuck, I actually think that the graphics look a little bit better on this version. We had to install a slightly different version of the graphics pack um, and I actually think it looks pretty good. It looks even better. Let me know, is that just me? Um, but yeah, I think it's, it's pretty good. Just get some air. Or later. But yeah, there is some gappiness um, in the textures, but I am willing to overlook that. It's, it's not too bad. This is such a cool level. I love it. And the background sounds as well. Really cool. Um, and again, I know that there's a way that you can just run and jump up onto the wing of the plane without turning off the propeller, but I I'm not feeling confident enough to try it. And also, I do want to kind of play the game properly as well, so. We'll just do it the long way. <laughs> oh yeah, and I forgot to say as well, I think this video is just going to be one part. Um, I don't think it's a hugely long level, so hopefully I can get it all done in one part. So we will see how that goes. That is such a massive fun. Okay, ooh. She gets stuck there every time. And I don't think that I have enough air actually to go around that way again, so I will, oh, stop getting stuck. I will just go out this way. I always used to do it initially, get the guy to shoot the window open. So we'll just do that now to have the, the full experience. Where'd he go? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's go and kill that guy because now I'm kind of annoyed. Ooh, maybe I can get him from up here. When you play Tomb Raider so many times, you kind of get used to the coolness. But this is such a cool game. a false sense of security because I was like I'm pretty sure a guy comes behind you there but then he just wasn't showing up uh -huh. and um, these guys look like a very similar character model to the prisoner guys that help us out in Nevada in Tomb Raider 3 I wonder if they recycled some stuff there. <laughs> or maybe they don't look alike at all. I don't know. Just little things I notice. difficult to kill all of those sharks and barracudas uh -huh. and I'm terrified of water and things that live in water unless they're dolphins that's fine but anything else not really so um yeah that's that's gonna be difficult and terrifying uh -huh. Ooh, we got magnums. Or sorry, they're called automatic pistols in Tomb Raider 2. My bad. Where am I? Oh yeah. And I also have a new surprise t-shirt to wear for 40 fathoms, so stay tuned for that because I I really like it. I think it's really cool. Oh no. No. Okay. Um this oh yeah. Just remember to go down this. 
backwards. I do think though that it would have actually been a lot cooler to have Lara going without her guns for a little bit longer in this game. She kind of, I don't know, gets them back, Ooh, where am I going, gets them back really really quickly. So... I do really, really love this part. It's like one of my favorite parts of the game, I think. It's just so cool. Oh wait, is it supposed to be all black or is that just my graphic pack game? I could have sworn that it actually is supposed to look like the ocean. Um, hmm. I must look that up. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to look like the ocean, not the big expanse of black. Oh no. Oh well. This is, uh, this is the last couple of weeks of things going wrong, so we'll just continue with that trend, it's fine. I'm just happy that I get to play again. What is this? Oh yeah, okay. I remember where I am now. Oh, oh no. Oh, I think there's actually a load of guys in here, so I'm just going to save it again before I go in. No. No. And maybe... These. No. Just to be on the safe side.
actually. Oh, stop it. I can't. This keyboard is much bigger than what I'm used to. But you know what? It's great because when I suck now at playing, I can just blame the keyboard. first meeting with divers soon, which is super scary. I don't like those. I'm not as scared of them as I used to be. I used to be like equally terrified of the divers as, you know, sharks and crocodiles and stuff. But now I'm less scared of them, but I still don't like them. level mixed up and I can never remember which is which and what you're supposed to do in in which one but I I think I remember for this oh keyboard is a super super cool way that you can actually jump in there and I'm kind of thinking should I try it at the end at the end of the level just to show it because it looks really fun and then there's a fun part where the water is like it's like a wall of water and then you jump into it because obviously it has to be flooded um, for you to get through I'm probably not explaining that well at all, but it's a really, really cute, uh, cool, not cute, cool <laughs> cheat and I'm wondering if I should do it at the end. I might try, I might try because that one, I, oh no, that one I have to admit I was really impressed by, so yeah, I might do that and it's a, it's a cool way just to skip some of the level if you wanted to. I personally don't hugely like skipping um, parts of the level but it's fun to do sometimes I guess oh I managed to just like jump in and get straight in there it's cool okay this is a scary bit okay be a grown-up Suzanne <laughs> You are a grown-up. Let's just do this. Okay, save. 
Um, so I'm trying to think the quickest way to do this is probably just to, oh. Uh, oh, I got one. Amazing. Okay, I'd say the quickest way to do this is probably just to jump down, get the secret, climb up and then go around. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Okay, just jump in. And we also can't miss this opportunity for a swan dive. Can I do it? Yes. The sound they make as well. I'm not impressed. Where are you? Oh, there. Did I get him? I guess there's only one way to find out. I did. Okay. They're both dead. What were they doing in here anyway? Just swimming around, being weirdos. Like, there's no reason for it. Uh -huh. Okay, um, I'm gonna oozy these guys. Oh, oh no. Ooh. shooting at me okay let's just I oh stop it oh no I have no life I mean, that's probably why in a lot of walkthroughs they do advise you to go around the top first and kill all those guys and then jump down there um, because those guys do shoot at you a lot but I don't know, I just don't have time for that in my, in my day. Well, I mean I do because I don't really have a lot going on but I'm impatient. Uh, oh, I can't point at him. Okay, fine. Oh, stop. Give it a rest. Oh, shotgun. Uh -huh. Okay. why you should probably go around the top first. Okay, it's definitely though not as easy to maneuver on this keyboard. <laughs> I know, I need to stop making excuses, but it's just what I do.
No sé. I did wonder if I could break the glass by jumping at it. Because I had seen some other people do it, so... That's really cool. video and I I've played this level so many times and I knew that guy was there I just forgot okay fix your hair and calm down okay um Uzi's let's just let's just do it okay oh oh okay that was a good whack um Mm -hmm. I mean, it wasn't good, I won't lie, but we're alive, so, there we go. So I did try and actually film that cheat jump at the end, but I couldn't get it. And after more attempts than I care to admit to, I had to just give up on it. I'm not exactly sure how you do it, um, but I am just gonna link a video in the description box if you're interested to check out that jump. Um, it's really, really cool and you can see it, uh, someone else doing it who's obviously a lot better at playing than I am. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I apologize so much. It, I felt like this video was a bit all over the place um, just with all the technical issues I've been having. I feel like everything is just everywhere at the moment. So my apologies for that. Also, I just wanna talk really quickly about my upload schedule. So I had planned to release my Tomb Raider 1 story and character videos over the Christmas and New Year's time period, but because I lost the last week and a half to my broken laptop, I don't think I'm going to have time to fully edit those properly and I really want to spend the time on them that they deserve because I'm really excited about those videos and I just want them to be as good as they can be. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to film in advance more level playthroughs. So I'm going to have a diving area part one and two probably because I think that's a bit of a long level coming out next week and then the week after just before new year's i will have 40 fathoms um coming out so well hopefully if nothing else goes wrong if nothing else goes wrong 
that's the plan, that's the schedule. And then the Tomb Raider 1 story videos will be out sometime in January, so that'll be a nice little New Year's thing to have. I'm also planning to film a collection video, a Tomb Raider collection video, just to show you guys what I have. Um, and kind of chat with you about different things and find out what you guys have so I will be filming that I think in January as well because I think I will be getting some Tomb Raider stuff for Christmas I hope so so be some extra things to add into that thank you so much for playing with me today as usual please like comment and subscribe if you haven't already if you have thank you so much and yeah i can't wait to chat to everyone in the comments that's my favorite part of doing these videos because it makes me feel like i'm not just playing by myself i'm actually playing with a bunch of tomb raider fans so yeah see you in the next video